The relative lack of snow in the winter season of 2019-2020 means many higher routes are available for access in early June. On this adventure, we trek to a small alpine lake called Talobse in Canton Glarus. From the Zurich main station, we took the S25 train toward Glarus and the Lindthal. The train wasn't too crowded as we took the one leaving at 8.46 a.m but I still wore my mask for good social distancing practice. In Ziegelbrücke, we changed trains to the S4 train for a very short segment to Mühlehorn. In Mühlehorn, we caught the 511-127 bus that makes a loop above the south side of Ballensee and then down to Nefelsmolis and then back to Ziegelbrücke. We got off the super crowded bus in the early part of the loop in the town of Filsbach. Valenze is around 500 meters at the lake level, and Filsbach is around 700 meters, so the bus helps cut off some junk meters from the hike. After getting off in Filsbach, I took a few moments to unmask, get my water bottle out, and enjoy views of Valenze below. Then we started heading up the road toward Talabse. The first part is along the road. Then you reach a point where a toll road begins and there is a chairlift available. The lift was not yet open for the season, but many people had parked at that point and started walking. The trail then heads up steeply through meadows and into forest. The shade of the forest is a welcome relief from the unrelenting sun on the northern facing slopes in the morning. As we climbed, we started to get views of the peaks above as well as views of the Amden area on the other side of the lake. Shortly before arriving in Talotse at 10.50 meters, we rejoined the toll road and came across a very noisy herd of cattle grazing. It's clear a lot of car owners also pay to use the toll road, which ultimately means too many people along the shores of Talabze at lunchtime on the weekend. When we arrived, it was still relatively quiet. We grabbed a table at the Talabze restaurant before it got too crowded and enjoyed a Wurstkäse salad. The restaurant only serves cold foods and has a relatively limited selection, but it has a nice selection of snacks and drinks to take away too. After our stop, we headed around the west side of the lake, which has a narrower walking path. We enjoyed the wildflowers and ample butterflies. At the end of the lake, we continued up the trail toward the higher lake, Spanigtse. We stopped below the steepest part of the climb at a spot called Heloch, which many people thought was a crater from an asteroid. But it's actually a collapsed cave.
From there, we headed back around Talabse on the eastern side via the wider trail. By this time, there were hundreds of people making fires to grill along the shores of the lake. We stopped again at the restaurant and grabbed a bag of chips and a small cake before heading up to Habertschwand, which is another couple hundred meters up and where the chairlift from below drops off. At the top, you can eat at the Berg restaurant or rent a scooter to ride back down the hill to Filsbach. That was tempting, but we decided to continue training our legs for the summer season and walked back down to town. We took a slightly different route down along a creek and caught the bus as it was making its way to Nefelsmolis, where we caught the S25 home. We arrived at the bus stop only two minutes before the bus, which was great timing 